everyone, guess the figures of speech. So I'm sure you've heard of this question a lot of times uh, across examinations where you're asked to guess the figure of speech, whether it's a simile, whether it's a metaphor, whether it's an anaphora, whether it's an alliteration. So guys, let's test your knowledge. Uh, there's going to be a poem coming up uh, on your screens. You have to guess the figures of speech used in the poem. Okay, so let's see if your answers match the right answers. Come on, let's try this out. So guys, I want all of you to join the Telegram channel unacademy underscore Ritu Dudoria. Please make sure that you attend the free live special classes on the Unacademy Learning app every day, 7 p.m. Use the code Ritu MBA in order to unlock the free plan. Use the code Ritu MBA to get 10% off your plus subscription. Very important, guys, at this stage. Live classes, which you can watch it, you know, according to your schedule. Lots of batches, guys, coming up. I want all of you to take the plus subscription. You can download the PDF, 100 plus educators, the best educators across the country, the best learning platform, the best test series. All you have to do is use the code Ritu MBA in order to get 10% off and take the plus subscription. One time subscription access to all areas of preparation. So come on, let's get started. So guys, the poem that we have today is a very interesting poem. It's a very soulful poem. It's a very beautiful poem. What we have to do now, the task in front of us is to guess the figures of speech. So let me read out this poem for you once. Come on, everyone. Let's read it together. Bangle sellers are who we bear. Are we who bear are shining glows to the temple fair. Who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow tinted circles of light, lustrous tokens of radiant lights for happy daughters and happy wives. Some are meat for a maiden's wrist, silver and blue as the mountain mist. Some are flushed like the buds that dream on the tranquil blow of a woodland stream. Some are aglow with the bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves. Right? So there are two more stanzas, guys. But let's analyze the figures of speech in these two stanzas. Let's see. Bangle sellers are we who bear. So this poem is from the perspective or this, these lines are being said by the bangle sellers. So bangle sellers are we who bear are shining loads to the temple fair. Shining loads. What are these shining loads? These shining loads are bangles. Who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow-tinted circles? Rainbow-tinted circles. The bangles are being compared. Or, you know, bangles uh, are being compared with rainbows. So, guys, what does this become? When, when you talk about comparison, there are two figures of speech which come to your mind. What are those two figures? Which are those two figures of speech? The first one is simile and the second one is a metaphor. Correct? Now, how do you differentiate between the two? Simile will make use of the uh, it, it uses the uh, prepositions, it uses the words as and like. Do we have as and like over here? No. It says who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow tinted circles. Why rainbows? What does a rainbow symbolize? A rainbow symbolizes color. A rainbow symbolizes bright, colorful, light. Correct. So guys, rainbow tinted circles. Bangles are being compared to rainbow tinted circles. Rainbow is a symbol of color, brightness, light. So what does this become? This becomes a metaphor. What is a metaphor? Metaphor is basically symbolism. You can call it comparison, guys, in order to help you remember it better. Just make sure that it's comparison without the use of as and like. If as and like hai, to wo simile ho jayega. We have lots of examples of simile also in this poem. So let's have a look at it. But guys, here is a question mark. Hai. Who will buy these delicate, bright, rainbow tinted circles of light? Question mark here. Lustrous tokens of radiant lights for happy daughters and happy wives. Who will buy? Is this question, uh, is question ka kya answer diya hua hai? Nahi. So what does it become? This becomes a rhetorical question. What is a rhetorical question, guys? A rhetorical question is a question just ka answer implied hai. Just ka answer diya hua nahi hai, but it's implied. It's understood. Correct. So you're buying it for your daughters. You're buying it for your wives. So who are buying it? The fathers are buying it. The husbands are buying it. Unsaid. Summer jate hum log. Correct? So this becomes a rhetorical question. Now, some are meat for a maiden's wrist. Some are meat for a maiden's wrist. Silver and blue as the mountain mist. Silver and blue as the mountain mist. Some are flushed like the buds that dream. On the tranquil bro of a woodland stream. Tranquil bro of a woodland stream. Some are aglow 
with the bloom that cleaves to the limpid glory of newborn leaves. Here we have many figures of speech. Let's guess. Karo. M. Meat. Maiden's wrist. Mountain. M. Mist. Repetition of the same sound. What does this become? Repetition of M, 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 M. Repetition of same sound in successive words. What is this? Jata hai, guys? This is called as alliteration. Correct? This is called alliteration. Some are flushed like. Dekho, comparison aa gaya, but comparison kaun se word ke saath aaya hai? Like ke saath. So, ye kya ho jayega guys? This will become our, ye ho jayega simile. On the tranquil brow of a woodland stream. A woodland stream has a brow. It has an eyebrow. Ab eyebrow kis ke hote hai? Aapka hota hai, mera hota hai, eyebrow humans ke hote hai. You're giving the stream a person like a human quality. So, ye kya ho gaya? Ye ho gaya personification. What is personification? Personification ka matlab hota hai. If you treat something which is not a person as a person, you're giving it person like, matlab aap usko person like qualities de rahe ho. For example, death walks. Correct? Uh, death touches, you know, it touches everyone. Correct? Wo kya ho gaya? Personification ho gaya. Hai na? So guys, personification basically hota hai. Uh, giving a human like quality, giving a person like person ka quality to something or which is not a person. So, brow, eyebrow, is a personification. Correct? So, guys, till now, simile cover ho chuka hai, metaphor cover ho chuka hai, alliteration cover ho chuka hai, rhetorical speech cover ho chuka hai, personification cover ho chuka hai. Correct? Or poem comprehension mein aapko pucha kya jata hai. You're asked the tone, you're asked the central idea, and you're asked to identify the figures of speech. Come on, let's look at the next. Next two stanzas. Some are like the fields of sunlit corn. Meet for a bride on a bridal morn. Some like the flame of a marriage fire. Or, or rich with the hue of a heart's desire. Again, what is this repeat? Here is the simile. Hai. H, 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 hue of a heart's desire. Ye kya ho gaya? This is nothing but alliteration. Correct. Ye wapis kya ho gaya? This is nothing but alliteration. So guys, this poem is filled with, there are lots of similes, uh, a lot of alliteration hai. and in addition to it guys, if you can see this, it is imagery. Bhi hai. What is imagery? It is bringing something to life. Correct? Imagery is here. You can clearly, matlab, as you are reading the poem, as you are reading the stanzas, as you are reading line after line, you are able to picture it. Correct? Purple, gold flecked, grey. Journey through life midway. Hands are cherished whose love has blessed. Cradled fair sons of a faithful breast. Serves a household in fruitful pride and worships the God at a heart's husband's side. Dekho, and, 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 and. Three successive lines beginning with and. Beginning with the same word. Ye kya ho gaya? Ye ho gaya anaphora. Same word, same phrase, anaphora. Correct? So guys, if you remember Martin Luther King's iconic speech, correct? It's filled with anaphora ka perfect example hai wo, right? So guys, which are the figures of speech here? Humne simile dekha hai, comparison using like and as, metaphor dekha hai, symbolism dekha hai without using like and as, alliteration dekha hai, repetition of the same sound, uh, successive words mein repetition of the same consonant sound bhi bol sakte hai, correct? So guys, ye alliteration ho gaya. Anaphora, repetition of the same word. Or every successive line is starting with the same word or it's starting with the same phrase. Imagery, bringing something to life. Correct. Ekdam matlab tinkling, luminous, tender, clear, purple, gold flecked. Ye sab kya hai? It's building an image in front of you. So imagery ho gaya. There was a rhetorical question. Personification. So guys, poem mein bohat sare figures of speech hai. Agar aap ye exercise daily karte ro, take up a poem, right? New York Times, poems, rows aate hai. So guys, just take up a poem, read it, just get to know what's the central idea, what is the tone, what are the figures of speech, uh, you know, which are the figures of speech in that poem and you're sorted, right? So I hope you enjoyed the session, guys. I hope you learned from the session. I hope you liked it. Aise kai sare quick learning strategy sessions or aayenge guys aapke saath all you have to, aapke paas all you have to do is press the like button share button and subscribe button take the unacademy plus subscription using the code ritu mba any course guys any course ritu mba lagao like share subscribe karo thank you everyone take care bye bye